G'day everybody, Where Swally here. Well, today my favourite crane driver, he's in the sights again. So let's have a listen to what Adam has to say. So if you want to believe the ISS is real, let me clarify something. Yes, something goes across the sky. Oh mate, that's very interesting. So it seems like you've taken the first step. You now know that there is something up there that goes across the sky. So Adam, please, please, please make us a video and tell us everything you know about the ISS as you see it from the ground. Come on, you've, you've looked up, you've seen it, surely. Pantomime footage. And when we do locate that landmass, it is obviously going to be a very bad day for the NASA pantomime company. Because we're going to put all the bits and pieces together and destroy it. One word, Namibia. We are all waiting for the bad day for globe. We were all waiting for this bad day for the globe, once you found out what that coast was. I suppose, Adam, you're still researching it and making the video, yeah? Well, let's just say it is that, hey? Some people have been saying, well, okay, it was me, that you got caught short a little bit in your thinking, that, and you were thinking that no one would ever identify that coast, and of course now that you've got so many correct answers, and they all started pouring in, you had to run back to talking about cranes. Oh dear, Adam. Anyway, more on cranes in a minute. Pantomime footage. It's April 6th, 2020. It's early in the morning. So here is a more recent video for you to view. This was only taken on the 6th of April 2020. And this time it's on the other side of Africa to Namibia, the Red Sea. Look, I'll pause at this distinctive island in the Red Sea. Now, you, I'm sure you can find it. I reckon we can do a ISS speed measurement here. Look, let's just grab this image and then I'll grab one 20 seconds later. And from Google Earth, we can get a calibration for how many kilometers per pixel. And so counting the pixels of how far the ISS moves in 20 seconds, we do a little bit of maths, and look what it comes to. 7.7 .7 kilometers per second, right on the money. Booyah. Look, next we can look at some clouds. Adam, have a good close look at where and how much shadow is under that cloud down there. Hmm, interesting, eh? And also, we can see that cloud on Electro L, which happens to be a Russian satellite. Now, I'm going to call that a match, wouldn't you? It's all too easy. Oh, I just love this image. Look at that, there's the whole Nile River. Well, it's the northern end of it. Nice little bend in the river there. Very distinctive. I think the pyramids are around about here somewhere. And there's the river mouth. Always a brilliant um, perspective is straight over this part of the world. If you ever see the ISS is tracking that way and you've got a chance to jump on the app to have a look, this is always, almost always guaranteed a good view in the daytime. You can see the full Nile River now. In the distance there. This is one of my favorite views, one of my favorite passes is coming over the this corner of the Middle East, Africa. It's almost always clear. Oh there's cool that's cool there. You can see all of Israel. Take a shot of that. And the Dead Sea. You can see the Dead Sea. Pantomime footage. Okay, we're about to join the action. Apparently we're doing 17 and a half thousand mile round a ball. A ball that's going half a million mile an hour through a vacuum. Okay, so back to your crane theory, Adam. I know you like talking about cranes. It seems to be a safe spot for you. Okay, well here's a crane that's moving at 7.7 .7 kilometers a second. And we just verified that is indeed the speed of the station. Adam, you know a bit about cranes, I'm assuming. Well, you say you drive one. How can this Dextree robotic hand, which weighs 3,664 pounds, be sitting on the end of the Canada arm, which is 58 feet long? It also weighs 3,300 pounds. It has seven articulations and three rotary joints, and there is not a hydraulic ram in sight, mate. How does that work? And all of this is traveling at 17,000 miles an hour and not a wobble. Gee, Adam, how are you going to work that one out? And look, crane operators, two of them. Pantomime footage. Open this window. The, this is the last window I haven't opened up yet. This looks the back half of the ISS, and there's the Russian segment and the progress vehicle. And there's the Red Sea back there behind us as we passed over. And Adam, it seems like you have this bog roll air fix pantomime fixation still present. 
Now we have a look at these things that you think look like bog rolls and we have a look at them up close. Something you fail to do every single time. And yeah, they're not looking too, how should I say, bog rolly airfix to me, mate. I think you need to rethink your situation. And of course, Adam, nothing that goes on inside the ISS affects anything that we are seeing from the ISS. Doesn't matter. Pantomime footage. So we're all awaiting your bad day video, Adam. And of course, while we wait, because it's going to be a long one, I highly recommend you all go and have a look at the latest video today by my good mate, Critical Think. And while you're watching his video, please subscribe to him as well, because he has so much good content in his back catalogue and more coming. He is one smart cookie, that guy. Oh, and the link to that is in the description as always. Biggest pantomime, pantomime footage. Pantomime, pantomime world, pantomime curtain, pantomime off, pantomime, pantomime artist, pantomime spinning. Pantomime. Pantomime artist. Triggered pantomime artist. Pantomimes. Pantomime reality. Pantomime. Pantomime footage for the NASA Pantomime Company. Pantomime ball. Retro jetpack pantomime for the Globe Pantomime Company. Globe Pantomime jetpack. Pantomime jetpack pantomime. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means.